today we are going to learn about the planets of the solar system! Now, as we begin, we have to answer this question. What are planets? Huh, this is a really good question. What are planets? Planets are round objects that orbit the sun. The word orbit means to circle around. That means planets are round objects that circle around the sun. Hey, what 3D shape is a planet? Think about it. What 3D shape is a planet? We know that a planet is round. What 3D shape is perfectly round? Yeah, a sphere. Yeah, planets are spheres. They're perfectly round. Yeah, good job. To summarize, planets are spheres that go around the sun. Pretty simple, huh? Hey, did you know there are two types of planets? Yeah, it's really interesting. There are two types of planets. Okay, so there are primary planets and there are dwarf planets. Those are the two types of planets. Now there are eight primary planets. These are the main planets that you think of, the main planets that are circling around the sun, and these are the planets we're going to be studying in this video. And then there are five dwarf planets. These planets are a lot smaller and are not considered primary planets. <laughs> Sorry, Pluto. Wow, there they are, the primary planets. You're going to get to know all eight of these primary planets. You're going to know them so well. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is going to be awesome. The first planet is Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. The second planet is Venus. Pretty cool, huh? The second planet is Venus. Our planet, Earth, is the third planet from the Sun. The fourth planet is Mars. Mars is the fourth planet. The fifth planet is Jupiter. That's the biggest planet of them all. The sixth planet is Saturn. You gotta love those rings. Saturn is the sixth planet. Uranus is the seventh planet. And the eighth planet is Neptune. Neptune is the furthest primary planet from the sun. Let's look at each of the eight primary planets. The first planet is Mercury. Here's where Mercury is. It is the closest planet to the sun, okay? And the sun is super duper hot, so guess what? Mercury is a really, really hot planet. In fact, Mercury is four times hotter than boiling water. Have you ever seen boiling water? It's so hot. It's boiling. It can cook things. It's really, really hot. If you barely touch it, you will hurt yourself so bad. Well, Mercury is four times hotter than that. Oh my goodness. It is a very hot planet. Four times hotter than boiling water. Mercury is one of the rocky planets. There are four rocky planets, and Mercury is one of them. Oh, and Mercury, it is the smallest primary planet. Mercury is so much smaller than the other planets. Tiny little, little baby Mercury. It's the smallest planet of the primary planet. So if you think of a small planet, think of Mercury. It's small, it's hot, you wouldn't want to live there. The next planet, planet two, is Venus. Venus is right here. It's the second planet from the sun. Now this is interesting. Venus is called Earth's twin. And the reason for that is they are a very similar size. They're almost the same size. And what's interesting, they're both rocky planets, just like Mercury is. And Earth and Venus are made of similar rocks. So they're pretty much the same size, very similar size. And they're made of the same stuff. It's almost like the Earth and the planet Venus are twins. 
Hey, did you know? Every day on Venus is a cloudy day, and the clouds are yellow! Oh, that's such a gross color for clouds. <laughs> clouds are much better when they are other colors than yellow, so the sunlight doesn't actually hit the surface of Venus. It's just a cloudy day every day forever, but that's okay because there's no life on Venus, so nobody's crying about it. And this is cool. Venus is the closest planet to Earth. It is the easiest planet to see in the sky. You don't even need a telescope. How cool is that? The third planet is, well, ours, the Earth. The Earth is the third planet. Here is where the Earth is. Yep. It's the third planet from the sun. By the way, these planets never line up like this. We just have it like this so you can see the order of the planets, but they're normally very, very jumbled. They don't line up like this. Just wanted to share that. But the Earth is the third planet from the sun. Here's a picture of the ocean and some seagulls that are in some of the shallow parts of the water. It's interesting, Earth is the only planet we know of that has oceans and life on it. Earth is one of the rocky planets. Yeah, we live on a massive rock that has oceans, that has life. I mean, that's absolutely incredible. Remember, four of the planets are rocky planets. Earth has one moon. The moon orbits the Earth like the Earth orbits the Sun. Wow, there's our planet. <laughs> That's where we live, the Earth. The fourth planet is Mars. Mars is right here, in between Earth and Jupiter. What color is Mars? Look at Mars, what color is that? Yeah, it's kind of like a reddish, orange. Because of its color, Mars is called the Red Planet. So if anyone asks you, what's the Red Planet? Tell them, hey, the Red Planet is Mars. Even though it is red, it is not hot. It is much colder than Earth because remember, Mars is further from the sun than the Earth. So Mars, it's red, it almost looks like it would be hot, but it's cold. Hey, is there life on Mars? That's a really good question that a lot of scientists have been trying to answer for a long time. Well, scientists believe there used to be water on Mars. If there was water, there may have been life, and even stranger, there are some scientists that believe we may still find basic forms of life still living on Mars. Mars is the fourth rocky planet. Remember, we said there are only four rocky planets, so it's the last of the rocky planets. Mars has volcanoes and valleys just like Earth. They're just sometimes much bigger. In fact, there's a volcano on Mars that's as big as the state of Texas. Wow, <laughs> huge. And this is kind of cool. Mars has two moons. They are both very small, okay? They're small moons, which is good. You know, Mars has a couple moons, it's nice. We've got a moon, Mars has two moons, you know? Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and it's in between the Earth and Jupiter. The fifth planet is Jupiter. Jupiter, the first of the gas planets. Here is where Jupiter is. It's the massive planet between Mars and Saturn. I mean, Jupiter is huge. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. In fact, all of the other planets could fit in Jupiter and there would be extra room. All of the other planets could fit inside of Jupiter. That's how big Jupiter is. 
And this is amazing, Jupiter has at least 63 moons, and we say at least because they're still discovering more. Wow! And because Jupiter is a gas planet, if you ever visited it, you would just fall right through. Just kidding, you would float. I mean, they wouldn't fall, the gravity wouldn't be there, you would just kind of float around and, you know. Jupiter is the giant gas planet in between Mars and Saturn. The sixth planet is Saturn, another gas planet. Here is Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun. You could spot it easily because of those huge rings, and it's in between Jupiter and Uranus. Hey. Did you know Saturn's rings are made of ice? <laughs> oh my goodness! How cool that must be! Whoo! Whoo! Icy rings! Those rings are made of ice! Wow! Like Jupiter, Saturn has a lot of moons. Saturn has 62 moons! Wow! Tons and tons of moons! What's up with Jupiter and Saturn, right? And this is pretty awesome. Saturn is the farthest planet you can see without a telescope. That's right, you can see Saturn with your own eyes without a telescope. Look, Mommy and Daddy, I see Saturn with my own eyes. <laughs> There's Saturn, I see the rings and everything. Saturn is a gas planet that's the sixth planet from the Sun and is in between Jupiter and Uranus. The seventh planet is Uranus, another gas planet. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and is in between Saturn and Neptune. Both Uranus and Neptune are the only planets you can't see without a telescope, so it took a while for them to be discovered. Now this is neat. William Herschel discovered Uranus in 1781. It took us a long time to finally find the planet Uranus. Uranus is a gas planet that is made of gas and liquid. What's cool is, Uranus has rings just like Saturn has rings. Yeah! Scientists believe the rings of Uranus could be pieces of broken moons. We don't know for sure, but that's really fascinating if that's the case. Speaking of moons, Uranus has 27 moons. 27 moons! I mean, we just have one! You know, 27! Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and is in between Saturn and Neptune. The eighth and final planet is Neptune. Hey, that means the first four planets are rocky planets and the last four planets are gas planets. So here is where Neptune is. It's the furthest planet from the Sun. Like Uranus, Neptune is a gas planet that is also made of liquid. Neptune was discovered in 1846 when Uranus was being studied. They were like, wait a second, there's a whole other planet here on the end. Let's call it Neptune. Neptune is known for its storms, the worst storms in the solar system. In fact, winds reach over 1,000 miles per hour on Neptune. Woo! That's pretty intense. Neptune has 14 known moons, but scientists believe there may be more. Here's Neptune, the furthest planet from the Sun. You have done such an amazing job with us today.
Today we learned planets are round objects that orbit the sun. The word orbit means to circle around. Basically, the planets are round objects that go around the sun. We learn there are two types of planets, primary planets, and there are eight primary planets, and dwarf planets, there are five dwarf planets. And here are all eight primary planets, their familiar friends now, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The first four planets are rocky planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are rocky planets. The four planets furthest from the Sun are the gas planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are gas planets. Wow, those are the planets! Thanks for watching, we hope you had a great time, had a lot of fun. Next time somebody asks you, do you know the planets? You could say, yeah, I sure do. I saw the homeschool pop video.